Hello, I'm Clay Thompson with High Tech Mobile Communications. We're going to talk a little bit about antennas. Basically, antennas fall into three categories. Base load, center load, and top load. What we mean by that is this is an example of a top loaded antenna. It's a fiberglass antenna. The load gets the coil, if you will, gets really tight at the top six inches to a foot. This is considered the load or coil. So this would be called a top loaded antenna. Next, there's a center load antenna. The load or coil is approximately halfway up the antenna, give or take. This would be called a center load antenna. And then there is a base load antenna, whether it be rooftop, trunk lip, magnetic. If the coil is at the base, it would be called a base load antenna. And this is just another option. It would normally have a long solid steel whip. This is um, an option that is actually offered by Wilson called a short load whip that reduces the length of the 62 inch whip down to 39 inches. So it's a very popular option. Many people ask me whether to run singles or duals on the antenna system. In other words, one antenna or two. Two antennas on any vehicle will outperform a single antenna system by typically 30 to 35 percent. You'll see performance in a few areas. First, higher gain, which means more transmit, more receive distance. Secondly, more bandwidth. What this means is if you have a 10 meter radio with multiple bands, such as a Galaxy or a Connex radio, the SWR will spread over a wider range of bands, which means more usable bands. Many people ask me which type of antenna is best for their situation. And it basically depends on the application. You have an automobile, a pickup, motorcycle, diesel truck. Our recommendation changes with the application. There is not one antenna that is the best option for all applications. For example, on a car, you have a rooftop, trunk, and a bumper. For the rooftop, you can go with a rooftop mount such as the Wilson rooftop or a K40. You can also go with a magnetic mount. You can go with a trunk lip mount that attaches to the front lip of the trunk or a bumper mount provided it's a metal bumper and has either a flat horizontal or vertical surface. These plastic bumpers are out of the question, don't consider it. For a pickup, you have rooftop, which is a rooftop mount or a magnetic mount, inside the bed rails, stake hole pockets, and a bumper. And there again on the bumper, it should have a flat, horizontal, or vertical surface to, to mount an L-shaped bracket to the surface. On a diesel truck, we're usually dealing with the mirror arms from the factory. Um, some trucks have side body mounts up on the wind fairings, and then some customers prefer behind the cab. The best application is actually on the mirror arms if the mirror arms can be properly grounded. Dual antennas is the best bet. 